to Crafting Princesses. Today I'm going to do a very quick tutorial on how to make these customized character bottle caps. They are perfect for so many different craft projects and you can use them for whatever your little crafting heart desires for hair bows, magnets, etc. I have an example of Ariel, Disgust from Inside Out, and Princess Belle. I actually just really enjoy making these so I have quite a few on hand. This one here is a Monster High stacked boutique bow that I did and topped that with a Draculara bottle cap. And you can see there for yourself what a difference that makes. You can put a magnet on the back of these and put that on the fridge or anywhere that you'd like. Or you can purchase the bottle caps with the hole drilled on top and make necklaces. So the materials that you will need are 1 inch flattened bottle caps and they offer them in a variety of colors, even designs I've seen zebra print. You'll need your one inch epoxy stickers. These ones are clear. These ones are epoxy stickers with glitter in them. Again, they are one inch. All of these materials I have bought on Etsy, including the little pictures that I am putting inside of them. Most sellers on Etsy sell every piece that you'd need so they'll sell the stickers, images, as well as flattened or regular bottle caps. Just shop around, find your seller that has the same style as you do or a style that you like or a price range that you prefer. Here are some examples of images that I have. Minions, Inside Out, Tinkerbell, Frozen, very popular, I ran out of Elsa. All the Disney princesses, Monster High and Dora. So I purchase all of these little images on Etsy and then I just print them on cardstock paper and it's an instant download so you can have that in your arsenal forever and you can find every every possible image you can think of. You'll also need a one inch puncher. These can be purchased at any craft store. This one was purchased at Michael's and it ranges between six to eight dollars and I promise you need that. Don't try to cut a perfect circle. Also need your glue gun. Once you're ready, find the image that you would like to use and do not cut so close to the circle that you won't be able to control the picture when you're putting it into the puncher and you'll see what I mean. So you want to grab your puncher and flip it upside down so that you can see the image that you're placing in there and you want to line up the edges of your picture with the edges of the puncher. This is why you need to make sure to have paper around the edges so that you can control where you're placing it. Punch that out. I place my hand on top because these things ricochet like a slingshot and you might lose it. And there's the um, picture all cut out in a perfect one inch circle. Place that inside of your bottle cap. I use the bottle cap as a guide so that I can easily place the epoxy sticker on top. I'm going to be using a glitter epoxy sticker for today. When you're peeling this off of the paper, be extra careful not to touch underneath because then you'll get a fingerprint on there and there is no removing that. So carefully grab it on the sides and place that right on top, lining up the edges of the sticker with your picture. Once you've done that, press down and then just press around the entire picture to get out any air bubbles that there might be. And once you've done that, take the entire image out of the bottle cap and then you'll wanna take your glue gun put some glue right in the center and a little goes a long way put that right back in press down and you're done I promised you it was going to be fast and this can be quite addictive too I can sit here and make these all day I don't know why I get so excited about them but you'll see what I mean so let's do another quick one in case you just want to see that again I'm going to do a minion one this time. Flip your puncher over. Line up the image with the puncher. I'm going to cover that with my hand and pop that out. 
place it inside of your flattened bottle cap. I'm going to use a clear sticker for this one. Carefully grab that on the sides and peel off. Don't touch underneath. Put that right on top and press down to release any air bubbles or any imperfections. I've also seen um, crafters print their pictures on photo paper, but truthfully, I mean, that's more expensive and the cardstock paper works just fine. The image looks exactly the same, in my opinion, as it does on photo paper, but whatever floats your boat. Okay, and then press that down and another one is done. Your options as I've said before are endless. I have quite a few colors actually that I have in stock of all different kinds of bottle caps. I've also seen them with um, prints on them, animal prints and things like that. And you can see what a big difference this makes on something even as simple as a bow. Um, don't forget to like my business page on Facebook. I do all kinds of stuff and I would like it to be interactive so that you guys can tell me what videos you'd be interested in seeing, maybe a Pinterest pass or fail, etc. So get crafting, get creative, and share some pictures of some stuff that you guys do. I would love that. Until next time.